Some dub it Nigeria's black gold. Hundreds of thousands of tires, which would otherwise be abandoned and dumped across the country, are now being reused. Ifedolapo Rushewe has created a company that collects, reworks and recycles old tyres into things like paving bricks for playgrounds and other goods that can be used in Africa's most populous nation. The tyres are reworked at an industrial plant owned by Freetown Waste Management Recycle. Lu Sheiwei is the company's managing director. You know, creating something new from something that would otherwise be lying somewhere as waste as was part of the motivation, like what can we be doing from this in terms of upcycling or recycling, which is why we started out with tyres. And um, for uh, most people don't know that for, for your tyres, the entire component of a tyre is valuable in terms of the, the metal in the tyre, the fibre in the tyre. The $5 million facility has recycled more than 100,000 tyres into everything from speed bumps, floor tiles and soft paving. So this is one of our products uh, and it's made from recycled waste tyres. It's also one of our best sellers, the zigzag interlocking pavers. And you usually would find this in use outdoor, driveways, playgrounds, um, walkways amongst others. Waste management in Nigeria is patchy at best. Piles of waste are a common sight in villages, towns and cities, and residents often burn them at night for lack of a safer method of disposal. Tyres in particular are routinely dumped and abandoned. Freetown relies on scavengers who collect old tyres from dumping grounds. They're paid around 20 cents per tyre. Tyres would ideally just lay waste. Um, you would find them in drainages, you just find them in the corner, stockpiled, nothing with nothing to do with them. But now we, ha we are able to, you know, create an entire value chain around the tyres. Though if organisers know that if they get the tyres across to us, they're going to get paid. Freetown started operations with just four employees. It now has 128, having experienced rapid growth in the last year. Andrew Shewe has big aspirations for the future. We do have a five-year growth plan, which includes um, expansion and diversification into all the um, types of waste, such as um, paper, pet bottles, electronic waste, amongst other things. Mm -hmm.